Man, this place is awesome. And not too many people know about it. Hi there, we're the Honest Guides of Prague and the most common question we get in the city center here from tourists that visit our city is, hey, where should we go to eat? So today we're gonna show you three great hidden cool places nearby the square. Tak jdeš nebo ne? Ajdám dvacítka, že jo? Tak nic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pasta Fresca, a great Italian restaurant here in the underground, Gothic underground. Most of the restaurants we will actually visit today will be in this beautiful uh, Gothic space. Um, they have uh, daily menus here. Uh, you have a choice from two meals. I got the choice of spaghetti or rigatoni. I went with rigatoni and a fresh parmesan. Uh, we also got this focaccia that they just bring to the table when you sit down. It smells delicious. We were here with Honza just recently for lunch and before that for dinner and it is always great. The space here is great. People are great and obviously the food is. Now my dish is absolutely delicious and to be honest, priced at 7.5 euros for this, it's also a very reasonable price. Just yesterday, I was at a supermarket and they're selling these frozen pizzas for 4.5 euros. I mean, it's ridiculous when you can go to a restaurant in downtown Prague and have a meal for 7.5. Why would you eat frozen pizza? I never eat frozen pizza. Hunter hysterically laughing behind the camera. How good of a liar I am. Oh, well, we Even though the entrance and the restaurant itself is kind of hidden, a lot of people know about it. So during the lunchtime, it can get quite packed. And in the evening, I recommend having a reservation. Now, the next place we're going to show you, once again, very close from the square and kind of new, so I doubt you know about it. We were just in that street, and now we're gonna go into that one that is called Tinska, but we're gonna switch because I'm already fed up, so I'm gonna sit on the hockey bench as Honza enjoys his meal. Cheers. So, we should be on my bag. We're at a place that is called Stidachka, which in English means the hockey bench. Now, why is it called that? Well, it was actually started by two Czech famous hockey players, Nedvěd and Ručinský. Uh, they sometimes sit here by the table and even the interior or the logo kind of looks like a hockey puck. Uh, now, they serve great beer, they serve great food. Honza is about to judge it in a minute. And the location here is amazing because if you sit by the window, which you can only sit by the window, you'll have a view of the teen church, which is kind of cool. Tak, uh, cheers and Honza, bon appetit. Jako to kuře je ale to zelí, takovýhle zelí jsem fakt nikdy neměl, to musíš testnout. Já to tady ještě utopím v tom sosíku. A ještě jeden sos, prosím. This place was really great, especially the food, which was later to me explained by Honza, who told me that the chef here actually won the TV show MasterChef, so that kind of explains it. The service was great, the beer was great, and I cannot wait for the summer when I'll sit here by the table and I'll look up there at the beautiful teen shirt. So we can only highly recommend this place. Let's go find another one. Now, why are we showing you restaurants that are sort of hidden from the square in little streets? Why don't we go on the square? There's many restaurants here. Well, there are, and we've showed you a few that are good to go to, but many of them are a bit pricier. Let me give you an example. The meal that Honza just had was eight euros. Now, if Honza would take another 50 euro cents, that would be a total of 8.5 euros, he'd be able to buy a double espresso in one of the restaurants here. From our point of view, that's crazy. We've started our tour in an Italian restaurant, then we moved to a Czech one, and now we're heading to a Mexican one. But before we get there, we would like to say thanks to our longtime partner and sponsor of today's episode, which is Surfshark VPN, which is a service that will also allow you to travel through multiple, not restaurants, but locations uh, in minutes or seconds. 
Now, what is that good for that you can place your computer or any device virtually to anywhere around the world? Well, thanks to that, you can visit sites that sometimes are geo-restricted. So there can be a website that is restricted only to United States of America. For example, it's one of the weather channels I recently needed to watch. It was almost an emergency situation where I needed to know what's going on. They were like, no, you gotta be from US to watch it. I'm like, well, yeah, but I'm from Czech. And they're like, no, you gotta be from US. Well, I clicked the Surfshark VPN icon within two seconds. I was suddenly in the United States and they're like, oh yeah, you can visit our website. I was like, yeah, thanks. So you can do that as well. If you want to try Surfshark VPN, you can use the link below or our code Honest Guide, which will give you three months for free and 83% off. And now we're not going to virtually go, but literally go to another place. Now, before we dive into the next place, let me read you a review that I found regarding the place. Why aren't more people talking about this place? It's in a touristy area, but great for locals as well. Well, let's talk about it, but first, let's notice it's hard to notice the place. There's no signage for it, really, so you gotta walk through the passage almost to the end and then down on the ground. So this is Las Adelitas. I've been to this restaurant many times, but not to this specific location. They have another restaurant further out from the city center, but when I found out they actually have a venue right here in the city center, I was like, well, we gotta test it out. And they've been here for years, and it's only the first time we've been here with Hamza was two months ago. And so we walked down the stairs, we saw this space, we're like, this is awesome. And then we opened the menu only to find out that they do have like a daily menu deal that goes for 9.2 euros and it gets you a soup, a main dish and a lemonade. So we just ordered that. I just finished my soup. It was, Mwah. did you like it? Delicious. We got tacos because the last time we were here, we got a burrito. We didn't take a picture of it, but it was also great. Here's some pictures of their burritos. Here's some pictures of their other meals. So uh, we can only highly recommend, I'm looking forward to eat this. I just came back from Mexico, so I'm kind of in the Mexican mood and I love their cuisine. It's amazing. Also, the soup was amazing. This is amazing. Even though, and I don't want to like criticize Mexican cuisine, I don't know why these are called tacos. They should be mini butitos, no? I mean, it's all the same stuff, just different sizes and different packaging. And it's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday. It's Thursday, but you don't know when we're filming this. Honesty, out the window. Sombrero down. And if we didn't lure you in for the food, maybe we'll lure you in for happy hour margarita for, what is that, 4.5, 5 euros? That's a bargain. After finishing the meal here in Las Adelitas, I thought to myself, I should be honest and tell our viewers, you, that this is the best place from the three places we showed you today. And then I realized we also had that awesome chicken in the Stidachka and a great beer, and also the amazing pasta in Pasta Fresca. So I think all the three places are worth your visit. And once you do so, please let us know which one you like the most, or simply leave a review on Google Maps, Yelp, TripAdvisor, and so on, so you can help other fellow travelers which one of these three you like the best. This was us, the Honest Guides, here in Prague, showing you new places for your travels. And I'll see you next week. And in the end, I'm gonna teach you a lovely Czech word that is střídačka, and it means uh, the bench where the hockey players change and where they switch. So that bench in Czech is called střídačka, or that whole area where they switch. Střídačka. Not gonna be an easy word for you. Try to say it and record yourself while doing that and send it to your friends. Střídačka. <laughs>